So here we are, Bailey's Garage, getting the MOT done. And what have we got on today? We have the Gerbing Premium Heated Liner for the jacket. So we're going to say what's it like, how we set it up, how we plug it in, and how warm it is. So we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> So here it is, the Gerbing heated jacket liner. So we get a bag of cables. Let's have a look. Right, so that's the cable to wire into the battery on the bike, which I've already got that. So I don't need to install that. What I do need to do, I do need to put the bigger fuse in because I've only got the fuse in here for the gloves. So I need to make sure I've got the bigger fuse for the gloves and the jacket, which I think is the 10 amp fuse. So that's our cables. We then get the Gerbing controller. So how this works is, you can wire the jacket directly into the bike with this cable, but you've got no heat control, so you can't turn the temperature up and down, and that's what this is for. So that's the controller. We've got two pockets here. Right, so that's a normal pocket. This is the pocket, right, so this is all the wiring. Okay, let's have a look. Blue, so blue is for gloves. Yellow is for accessories, which I'd imagine is probably trousers and socks and jacket. Okay, so let's have a look. What have we got? We've got blue for gloves. We've got white for jacket. I haven't got any other accessories, so I don't need that one. So I've got the jacket and the gloves going into the controller. Ah, no, sorry. The jacket goes through the controller, so you can change the temperature of the jacket. The gloves bypass the controller and go into the wiring. So that's the part which we wire into the bike. So the jacket we control here. The gloves we still control on there. Okay, so that's our controls. What do we got here? More pockets. More pockets. 
right gloves so the glove wires are in the sleeve there's one and there's two so the premium heated jacket liner so it's got heating across the stomach it's got heating on the chest it's got heating down the arms and it's got heating in the collar looks nice it feels nice the quality feels brilliant there's heating across the bottom actually you can actually you can feel the wiring and there's heating across all of there as well you can feel the little micro wires so it's heated back heated bottom of the back heated arms heated chest heated stomach and a heated collar and it's got some little pockets in there so it's nice stretchable material because these are meant to be a bit snug you have got okay there it is so this inner zip ah so that inner zip is where you would access all the wiring if you needed to so it'll be good to see how this works now a few reviews i've heard of people i've heard people saying these cables are not long enough to reach the gloves and a lot of people have said is once you've got your coat over the top this wire's got to come round and into the glove so I'll try that we'll see so that's the Gerbin jacket now what I previously got which I wasn't a big fan of I never even used to bother with it I've got this heated vest or gilet as some people call them so this it wasn't cheap this is a Aris and this had the control button here I'm just trying to feel because this was meant to be heated at the front and heated on the back now as you can see already the size of that surface area for the heating I mean on this I can feel the wires all the way up here now on the heated vest that's that's the heating element but there's nothing there I can feel wires there I can feel the wire there I can feel the wire there that's going to the controller and the wires coming down to here because this is where you plug it into a power bank or a USB 12 volt on the bike right I can't feel any wiring at all on the front now this was advertised as it was heated at the front now I've always thought when I've worn it that I can never feel any heat at the front I could feel the heat on the back but not a lot of heat on the back but I could feel it but I couldn't feel anything on the front so really all that is is a back warmer and it's just that section what warms the back so a bit like my review doing the heated gloves and the heated grips that was 80 pound so really that was pointless because on the bike obviously the wind's hitting you chest on so it's hitting your chest your stomach front of your neck and the front of your arms where this has got heating on the back where the wind's not hitting you. so again although you know it's a heated vest you know why are we buying them when they're not heating the parts what we need so the Gerbing jacket was £199 so some of you may think that's quite expensive £199 and I've got a heated stomach heated chest heated neck heated arms 
heated lower back, heated upper back. That was eighty pounds. I've got a heated back. That's all. And it's not my back what's getting cold. So, although that's cost one hundred and ninety nine pounds, here I've actually wasted eighty pounds. That is complete waste of time. That does nothing for me. I think I've worn it once or twice. So one hundred and ninety nine pounds. That'd be good to get this on and see. Is it as good as they say? I mean, I was was that impressed with the gloves. So, you know, I, I'm positive. I've got good feelings about this. I think this is going to be good. And what I think I would do is, if this works out good, then I would rather spend £199 on a good heated jacket and then have a cheaper outer jacket, which is just waterproof and got the armour, instead of buying, you know, a six £700 jacket and still be cold so we'll see we'll see how it works so we'll get this on we'll go and try it we're going to plug it into the bike we're going to plug it into the bike and we'll see how warm it is you can get uh, i think it's a 10 amp hour battery pack for this jacket but again sound the gloves i'm more than happy plugging into the bike that's not a problem with me so i think we'll put it on we'll plug it into the bike and we'll go and see how good it is Goodbye vest, hello gerbing jacket. I forgot to add this bit, I found the cables. These are the extension cables for the jacket. So that bit plugs into the sleeve, so you've got that extra length there to come outside your jacket. I'd left them inside the bag, I didn't realise I'd got them. Wow, that is amazing. So I'm on number five, the artist. That's literally been on two minutes at the most. Have a heat, I can feel all the hot and warmth here. I can feel it on my belly. It's all around my neck. I can feel it at the top of my back, at the bottom of my back. It's all warm here. That bit there gets really warm. So I'd imagine, you know, you're on your bike there. That part must be getting all the wind. Oh, even when the neck. Oh, that's brilliant. That is really, really good, that is. I mean, my heated vest I had, it said there was heated elements here but I never I never felt it you could feel the warmth in the back a bit but that is well, let's, let's just get the engine on because obviously this must it's a 10 amp fuse for the jacket and the gloves so I'd imagine the jacket pulls quite a bit of power oh, 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 oh. Oh. Well, that's nice and warm in there these side pockets. Oh. Even the pockets are like heating gloves. Oh. So we got so the bike's in for an MOT tomorrow. So I think we'll be wearing this. The frost is starting already. That is brilliant. Oh, I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. So we no longer need a thermal on in a jacket. I can take that out. can also take out this wiring loom for the gloves because we've now got wiring there for the gloves so 
so at least we've got a spare loom if ever needed. Saturday morning, bikes in Fritz MOT. So let's use this opportunity to try the jacket out. It's about three degrees this morning, so it's not too cold, but it certainly isn't warm. So we'll see what this jacket's gonna do. Let's get the bike out. Right then, let's try and get the bike MOT'd. Let's see how hard this is. Right, there's my wire, there's my wire on the bike. Unplug and plug in. Okay, so let's set this. Well, it's on number five on the hottest. Gloves them on. Oh, I can feel that jacket already. That's got very hot, very quick. And I don't think I'm going to need it on number five, the hottest setting. What are we on? We're on one degrees. My clock says it's half past six in the morning. It's not. I can feel the heat instantly down my arms. I can feel it down my forearm. All down the outside. I can feel it across my shoulders, my neck, the middle of the back, the bottom of my back. I can feel it across my chest, across my stomach. My hands are nice and warm with the heated gloves. So at the moment, it's one degrees. I feel like I'm sitting in the living room. It feels that nice and warm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn that down in a minute. That's nice, it's hot, but very quickly, I can feel I'm gonna get too hot. So maybe that uh, setting number five is ideal for the first startup of it to keep you nice and warm, just to get that heat straight into the body, or maybe, you know, in sub-zero temperatures like the other week when I went out to test the gloves, but it was snowing. But actually that wind, it is a bit bitter that wind is, to be honest, I can feel it on my legs. And I can feel it at the bottom of my chin. So it is definitely cold out. Right, let's get some money out to pay for my MOT and we'll see what the faff is like of having to unplug yourself. Unplug yourself back in. Because you hear a lot of people saying, oh no, you know, I don't want to unplug myself and it's too much hassle. Let's see what the hassle is. But yeah, that's 100%. I have got to turn that down. Oh, that's too warm. Which is a good thing, you know, you don't want to have it to have it on full power and it's not warm enough. Right, okay. So let's see what's involved. There's the bike. I'm off the bike. There's my wire. I'm unplugged. Simple as that. I suppose the only downside now is I'm gonna have to take a glove off to get my bank card. But my gloves connected. I could just leave it on the wire. Right, let's get a few dollars. Let's carry on our journey. I nearly walked off them without the money. Right. There's me and my team money. There's my glove, still connected. Let's put the glove on.
there's my wire, there's the bike, that's it, I'm plugged in. Now I'm pretty sure the controller remembers your setting. So I suppose the only faff now is I've got to switch the gloves back on. But I think that's because I've got the single controller for the jacket. The first place I instantly feel it kicking is right across the back. But I'd imagine that's because the back's stretched, so I suppose it's um, holding the jacket, you know, close to the back. And all down the arms. That's the first part you, you know, it's more or less instant heat. That's how quick it is. And then now I can feel my chest getting hot, I can feel it on my stomach. I can feel it on my lower back. And I've noticed the last place to warm up is, which I can start to feel it now, is round the neck. You know, I bought the gloves because the gloves impressed me so much. And I, I expected them to be good, but I didn't expect them to impress me that much. Because the gloves did, I thought I'm going to invest in a jacket. I mean, I could ride to Wales now with this, this body heat. I could ride all day long with this. And the good thing is, because I'm wired in, I can ride all day long. I haven't got to worry about battery power. But yeah, um, I can definitely, I can feel the heat now around my neck. My neck's getting very hot. So the MOT test station is at the top of this road. This is the road I grew up on. Um, and to be honest with you, this distance I've just done is enough. Temperature's now at four degrees. So in four degrees, with this heated jacket on full power, this is probably what, two miles away, three miles away, that's enough. I don't think I could do much more with it, with it being this hot. I definitely need to turn it down. Well, let's see what we got. Hiya, pal. Straight down. Cheers. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. You right, Bob? I'm just trying out my heated jacket. Oh, it's lovely. Pete, thank you very much, sir. See you next year, mate. There we go. I'm going to leave it on number five again. Looks a bit warmer out there now. Let's put that in my pocket. Okay, showing seven degrees now. See you later, Pete. Cheer up, pal. So there we go, people. Bailey Scourge in Bearwood. Get your MOT on your bike done. Cracking place. So I am more than happy with the Scourbing Premium Heated Jacket Liner. It's a nice, nice snug fit. It's not too snug, that it causes any restriction, but you don't want them too, too loose. So I suppose you need the jacket liner to be close to your body so you feel the heat. And what I did is I've took the thermal liner out of my jacket. I don't need the thermal liner in my jacket now because this jacket liner is acting as a thermal liner. But it's a heated one, so it's even better. Yeah, we're now down to five degrees, so the temperature's dropping. But my body thinks it's on holiday. It thinks it's in the sun, which I wish it was. Between three and four degrees, setting five is, it's too hot, it's too warm. So you would definitely have that a lot lower. So would I recommend a heated jacket? Yes, I would. So the heated vest, it was mainly just keeping, keeping me back warm. But it was only a little bit of heat, it, um, it wasn't anywhere near as hot as this. And same again I think with the gloves and the, and the heated grips. You know, this heated vest was heating the back. 
but most of the time it's not your back what's cold it's this part the bit what's getting what's getting hit with the wind the front of the arms the chest the stomach around the neck that's the bit what's being exposed to all the elements and that's the part this jacket is warming up just lovely I can see me buying the trousers and the socks at this rate but there's a little tip I did I brought the gloves and then just after purchase I get an email from Gerbing just you know thanking you for the purchase and what they do is they send you a link to give a review which I think goes on Trustpilot and that and if you leave a review you then get another email after you've done the review off Gerbing with another discount coded so I use the discount code on the jacket I got myself £25 off so it is worth leaving reviews guys because some of these companies they will reward you for it um, I'm more than happy to ride in the winter in the cold <laughs> even in the snow I've done it for years um, it's not put me off I've never not gone out because the weather's put me off so I never thought you know I was one for heated clothing I thought I don't need it it doesn't bother me I'm so happy to get out but now I've tried it I am converted heated clothing is the way forward and I can't wait to get out do a tour and even last night actually I did message the guys I said I've tried the heated jacket on in the garage it's brilliant we can now organise a winter tour funnily enough nobody replied back so would I recommend heated clothing 100% yes I would would I recommend heated grips for £48 why no why not you might as well it's not breaking the bank I would rather spend the £199 on a heated inner jacket and a cheaper biker jacket than spending five or six hundred pounds on the biker jacket. If it's money, I would definitely spend the money on the heated clothing. 100%, I am convinced. I wasn't a lover or a fan of heated clothing. I used to wind Goose up about it because he always used to have his heated vest on and I could never quite understand it. I used to say, how can you ride with heated clothing on? I am converted. So my opinion, my review, without a doubt, it's one of the best things I've invested in. All we need to do now is get this lockdown lifted so I can get out and do some proper mileage with this heated clothing. Spend a day out. Well, it's a lovely blue sky. Thanks for watching. You never know, the next video might be. And guess what? I've bought the heated trousers. See you again. Bye for now.